Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey. Welcome back to our co-op let's play on Total War Attila with the Langobards, which have very long beards, and the Geats, who also have very long beards, actually. Um, it's not quite enough. And diseased old man, too. We do have a lot of disease up here. But that's <laughs> really like that, way. That he's, that guy, he's like he's he barely has a face. His entire head's just it's all hair. <laughs> he's trying to cover all his sort of horrible pustules sticking out of his face because he's so old and diseased it must be yeah oh and of course you are officially devon but you know we all know that well do we because apparently we don't <laughs> we still keep, keep reintroducing it, yeah so maybe people don't know <laughs> right if so last your time first time watching this episode you've missed all of the good parts indeed go back and watch them all watch them all. um I uh, we actually ended it on your turn last time, but I remembered that I wanted to change or I want to try some trade with people that I now border in, in the Venedians. I don't even remember ever hearing about the Venedians in this game. <laughs> Probably a fake faction. Are they in homeland of the Goths in the Second Messiah? Ah, let's see if they're willing to pay me a bit of money for this. No, not that much money. Uh, how about a little less money then? Oh, they want money from me. Well, how about mm. no one pays anyone and we just go for trade? No? <laughs> let's not get things out of control. I mean, paying money for things, that's a very capitalist idea. And we all know where capitalism leads. Oh, this is annoying. So I, they what, they wanted 200 for me, but I can't type 200 myself. So what if I just ask them for 300 again? Maybe they'll counter me with <laughs> wanting 200. Damn it, no, so now I have to I have to pay them three hundred now instead of two hundred. <laughs> That's what I get. Right, that's because you're you're pissing them off. You're trying their patience. They're gonna keep changing the deal. Indeed. Well, I got trade with them, so that's all that I all that I wanted. And then I'll just end the turn again. Go back to you. My glorious turn, in which I don't think I plan to do anything. Political obstruction, cigar, Dag doesn't want cigar to be promoted. And cigar doesn't have enough influence to get it himself. I'm going to use forget it because I want Cigar to, to go in there. There we go. Forget Everyone. about it. Everyone's in. That's it. Oh, God, I've got so many officers. Right. Um, what I needed to do was back in my capital build the meeting hall, which I can't build because I don't have any money. It's an interesting. Uh, that's right. In the last turn, I had like 4,000. I've only got three. I don't know if I'm seeing things, ladies and gents. <laughs> Quickly go back in the video. I swear just now, during your turn, it said I had like three 3,000 money. Now I've only got 1,400. Where did all my money go? That I'm is... highly confused by this turn of events. There's no good recruitment question. going on here. Well, okay, I'm not going to build the meeting hall. That plan's out the window. But what I am still going to do is wait for the Angles and the Burgundians to fight each other, hopefully in the middle somewhere. And then I'm going to swoop in and steal Rugio. The move that in our previous campaign... That was the beginning of the end, <laughs> but we're gonna do it again this time. I am nightmares on. of that place still. We fought, <laughs> we we fought over Rujia on like I don't know how many battles. I think we've taken it maybe three times, or you have at least. Yeah, and back and forth, lots of oh my victories, god, victories, huge sacrifices. At least we know that town in and out right now. Like we know exactly <laughs> where to step. Yeah, definitely know the map. And uh, god, yeah, Rujia. since all my money seems to disappear, that's all I can do. I might be recruiting a unit or something. Let's but see. I don't think it was the Burgundians that were the problem last time. I think they were actually at one point helping you, or maybe they weren't. I think I it was can't... on and off with Burgundians. Yeah. It was the Rugians. The Rugians, yeah. Who were the real problem. Who are probably going to be a problem in this campaign as well. They are always, because they always have, like, Gofuscanza, and I think they, maybe they own more as well. I'm not quite sure. But they always have, like, two armies, plus Gofuscanza is a big city, and they never really get declare war on anyone, so they'd sit there with full stacks, and then when you finally declare war on them, like, oh, we're ready for a war. Bang, yeah. It's going to be dangerous, but uh, once if I can somehow take the Burgundian territory without angering the Rujions, I'll have a nice base. Try and build up something, we'll take them on. So I think that's it. Any Sounds like a fine plan to me. Like I quickly check the trade. Nice to do it once in a while. Only Western Roman Empire, they're not going to trade with me. Oh, my town stabilized at zero happiness, or at ni minus 98. So oh. that means it's not rebelling. I wanted oh, to rebel, oh, oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it's because I fixed those buildings for all of them. Damn it. <laughs> Ostrogoths on a mysterious other raiding. Hey, could That's you not? Quite cheeky. The Burgundians have moved their general out That's <laughs> into the sea in a very exposed position. I think he's asking for it. Is yeah. this bait? Well, I'll see what the angles do against them. Come on, angles. Go in and wreck them, but not too much. Only wreck them a little bit. Just slight wrecking. A little bit of wrecking. I wonder what. 
the hell is going on here? I hear like something. Anyway, I wonder what the Ostrogoths are doing. I wonder if they're actually going to declare war on me or if they're just moving through my territory. Well, they are suspicious in that they were raiding, which they usually wouldn't bother doing because it uses up movement points if they were just going somewhere. But then who knows? Who knows? Yeah, both the Ostrogoths and the uh, Varinians are suspiciously hanging around in your territory. Yeah. Lugians, why wow, do they just that's like that must be all like mercenaries and stuff. Ah, they're yeah, trying to get revenge. Ferinian still, yeah, they're raiding as well now. Ah, <laughs> they're so far away. Minus I'm... fourteen, holy hell. I have to cross the river to get there. That's a real bugger. Yeah. Yeah, my town is becoming very unhappy because so there's a lot of raiding that's happening. After all. Lucky well that's in the wrong province. <laughs> oh, is so, it? Yeah. That's the one I've where, where I don't want to rebel. Oh, okay, now so. it's minus 80. Oh, hold on, maybe it's on 2. One. Okay, I've got plus 2 public order for good omen. Um, yeah, they're both raiding in a Burzus, but then there is... That's... Oh, right, yeah, the, Lu the Lugians are raiding in um, in the right province. They're raiding all over the place. Okay, yeah, the tons of raiding. That one's going to rebel. I can't reach the Lugians, because, yeah, they're across the river. Although, actually, that doesn't actually matter, because there's a crossing there, but I still can't reach yeah, them yeah. anyway. Okay, so we'll have to let them raid for a little bit. I guess the rebellion will happen. That'll be good. I might move my army into a Burz. No, I don't think a Burz is the right one. Uh, my army from Kasurgis, because that will d definitely guarantee the um, rebellion. And if they rebel in Kasurgis, it doesn't matter because it's a walled city anyway. Indeed. So that's a good move. Um, but I'm just wondering what city I actually want to move it into. Look for the Marelli, Avergalia, or Ubuzis. Borges is walled as well, but if they have onagers, they could come and attack it right away. Oh, that Ostrogoth army is actually somewhat hurt. I can see three of its units, and all three of them are at least half or lower. Yeah, oh, nice. Um, I think I'll jump into Aragalia. It's my capital after all. Well, my, yeah. Something. My, uh, faction capital. Starting area. Yeah. All right. So um, that should be good. I have a very small amount of money. Which I cannot spend on anything. Glorious. Yes. Quite. Quite glorious indeed. Oh, look at this. The uh, the Burgundian army. I don't know where it went, but it's not in Rugion anymore. So, my chance... Ah, they both Angles armies are damaged. I guess it must have gone out, attacked Ang uh, Anglia. Anglus. <laughs> and got destroyed. Oh, wow. The Rugians are right there as well. They're standing there suspiciously, which I... I mean, we've seen this before. This but I still be... think <laughs> this seems <laughs> like a good opportunity. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. Well, you know, in this case, I actually can bring up my army in like one turn if absolutely necessary. You're not going to need to do that. This is going to be fine. He Nothing's says, knowing full well, he's about to get destroyed. Wavering loyalty. Well done, Herif Shaltel. This guy with my million Nordic band is wavering in loyalty. The Markomanic rebels spawn the Kasurges. Mm. Yeah, too loyalty. Office given to subordinate really pissed him off. Okay, who's going to secure loyalty? A hey, dag, you diseased old bastard. Which one is it? Secure loyalty of Boulder. Sniggery is getting pretty disloyal as well. I don't <laughs> you gets No, sorry, not Sniggery, Cigar. <laughs> the Sniggery and Cigar brothers tearing up the place. Okay, so. Let's just move my spy around in case there's a hidden Burgundian army here, but. You doubt it. They've got their army over there. But we can take them. Right, I think it's time. Is it time? Are you going to assassinate the general up there first? Yeah, first we've got this random Navigators of the Black Tides. It's just a general. Well, oh, send, yeah, there's an actual ship. I'll send my fleet to get rid of him. He'll probably just get out of the way. Oh, I need to declare war first. Bugger there in defensive alliance with Rugian. Oh, it's the war with right. the Angles. You might get some yeah. money out of the Angles. It's time to uh, pull some diplomacy tricks. Hey, Angles, my old pal. I will help you against the Burgundians. Ah, so Angles also aboard the Rugians. That's why the Rugians are coming up. If, if, all you have to do... How much money do you have? Not very much. Oh, no. Oops, sorry, that's an offer. That was close. I will uh, demand a mere 3,000. Low, a mere 2,500. A mere 1,000. Moderate. Let's see what they say to that. They accepted it. Nice. So there, there we go. At war with Burgundia. 
not at all with Ruji on. Although they'll probably declare war on me very shortly. <laughs> but at least for one turn, we'll have a bit Ooh, of safety. Right, right so they there. just got out of the way. That's fine. So let's have Ruji on. Let's send the You're going to kill that Pyrrhus. Admiral? Yeah, I'll clip it a sec. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, because maybe you meant you were just going to move on the city. <laughs> right. I'll occupy this city. Time oh. Very much. Oh, wow. Let's have a look. I didn't realize it was like that, where you could just literally sit in it immediately. I think because it has no garrison. Yeah. It has, well, it has a garrison of like three men. <laughs> three stand. men like, oh, fuck it. Just have him. <laughs> I don't want to die for this. Just come in. This isn't going to work. <laughs> right, so it's all completely wrecked. It's going to be, yeah, a bit too, a bit too costly for me to repair this place up. So I can repair one building. Let's get the village together, just so we can get like towers, etc. And I'll have to leave the rest. Right, I'll send my fleet to just finish off that navy. That one general boat, sorry. Let's just sink him. I'm going to use an aggressive... Oh, he's protective stance, because I'll win either way. Aggressive. <laughs> there you go, lost two men. Oh, I will kill the captives. Whoa. Just, just to really stick it to the Burgundians, and then I'll dock <laughs> here, just in case. I uh, think that pisses off the Rudians as well. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Of course it does. Why would I? Why would I not want to do that? So now the deceased of men probably need to come down as well, just in case uh, some action happens. So the angles are like, really? We just fought that battle, and you just take the town. Nah, nah, it's my time now. Actually, they just raided, didn't they? They didn't actually take it. They had their chance, and they yeah. lost it. Oh, I can't get these damn diseased old men onto the land. This is very challenging, right? Come on, you guys. Off the boats. There we go. Right. So everyone's on land. We'll see what the Rugians do. They're so now, diseased. They couldn't nice. even move. That's it. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> actually a pretty strong army. Those four Nordic Axe Warband. Yeah, that's, that's why I need them. This Holy hell. All they my cost money's gone. 280 <laughs> each. It's the most expensive thing known to man, but it's the only hope. Oh, I can upgrade the Nordic Levy. I just I forgot about that. So oh, I'm yeah. getting two squads of Nordic Spearmen here in the, the main force. Delicious. I've also got... I can upgrade this... Snordic longship Snordic. to a heavy, not Snordic. <laughs> Sorry, I, Snekia. I read Snekia and Nordic at the same time. <laughs> so this is a Snordic longship. <laughs> it's very difficult to translate. <laughs> okay, I think that's all. Maybe the diseased old men can encamp, just sort of make them seem more badass than they really are. I've got a tiny bit of cash, can't repair anything. I'll save it that I have absolutely no income and absolutely no money. So if I can't win with these forces, we're not winning at all. I need to pick a new tech. So far, I haven't researched a single civic tech, so let's probably get onto that. Okay, so the die is cast. Let's see if either the Angles or the Rugions think my move was sufficiently cheeky. Oh, wait, wait. I could assign a provincial governor. Now, where's that? Oh, the disloyal guys can't be put into it. Because <laughs> I thought previously when I put a provincial governor into Rougeon, they've been killed quite rapidly. Oh, here we go. Ring, a statesman. Only three loyalty. In Is you go. name Ring? Yeah, it's called Ring. It's 27, quite it's got loads of influence. And I can put an edict. Probably going to need some public order or something. Let's see. There's 100% Germanic paganism, which is handy. Let's have the public order bonus for Germanic paganism. And what was the other thing I wanted me to do? Was it a tradition? Yes, a naval tradition for the blackened sails. Ooh. You can have mastership, right? But increased hull strength. Ruin of Rome, not very helpful. And what's this? Plus two integrity within controlled waters, not helpful. But it unlocks the one that reduces, reduces upkeep costs, which I do like the sound of. So if they ever happen to get another tradition, I'll go for that. And let's keep going. All right. Right, <laughs> took a while, but I've sorted myself out. So now it's time to uh, deal with the rebels, I guess, for you. Oh, the Ostrakovs, they stopped raiding. They're still standing right there, but at least they stopped raiding. Oh, that's kind of them. Yeah. Come to an agreement. Maybe they saw my army pop up. I was like, oh, you know what? We'll stay in your lands, <laughs> we but we're joking. not going to be raiding anymore. <laughs> we, were just, we were just joshing. We'll give it back. Here's your, here's your, your silverware. And... <laughs> <laughs> There's all those plates we stole. <laughs> They've still got a bit of spaghetti bolognese stuck to them, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> can't have everything. <laughs> Lugians, are they leaving? Looks like they could be leaving. They're off. 
Oh yeah. Oh, oh they, they took belts. Oh, what the oh, hell? It's on. <laughs> cool, and they buggered off as well. Good, so no more raiding in my territory. What is my this? Whoa, well, I, I don't trust so these people. The Swabians cheesy. want a non-aggression pact. Where are they? Uh, they are apparently a migrating faction because they have the migrating thing next to them. So they got kicked out of their lands by, it looks like, maybe the Western Roman Empire or something. The Vandals and the Bastan Bastarnians are over there as well. Anyway, um, yeah, I just remember they... They betrayed me in the last campaign, but I'll take a non-aggression pact. <laughs> I don't. It was in a parallel universe. I mean, you, can't, you can't really hold it against them. <laughs> they do want a hundred bucks. You know what? I'll give it to you without the hundred bucks. They accepted it. All right, good. Don't know why they wouldn't. Why? I don't ever really get that. Hey, we'll go non-aggression with you, but you have to pay us. Wait, what? <laughs> How about we don't? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted the non-aggression pact. Look at this cheeky Rugeon army camping in my territory. Rebellion! Matter of state, border dispute from Rekiar. Along the borders of our nation, a farmer from one neighboring state is, from the neighboring state is claiming the land belonging to one of ours as his own. <laughs> That's probably me. Some <laughs> Rugeon peasants trying to steal your land. Illyria and Western Empire at war. There's still one more raiding faction. Oh, right, the rebels, of course. Chief Eunuch. Ooh, that's a good one. Plus 5% tax rate for local province and research rate. I'll give that to someone. Finish local traditions. Okay, let's go for craft specialization. Um, what was the thing that just happened? Uh, it's all going so fast. Right, yes, the, the governor needs to get something. You. You're going to get a Chief Eunuch. There you go. Extra tax rate for you. Have a good one. Um, right, oh, it's winter of course as well. Well, the thing is, they still wouldn't be able to attack Kasujas, plus I've got like 8 units there anyway, so I think I'll leave my army here for now. Okay. Maybe I'll move the army from Alagalia over to loop for them instead, so I'm closer for next turn. Sounds like a plan. Quite the plan. How many of them died on the way? And just a couple. <sighs> yeah, not too bad. Right, so what is this? Uh, I can ignore the dispute, take back the land by force, or buy the land. I'll buy the land. Be nice about it. Hmm. It's an unusually uncheapskatey move. Oh, I'm not a cheapskate. I am the opposite. I can get a gem cutter. Do I? No, I don't have any sanitation buildings. Right, that was a problem here. That's why I can't build any of these buildings. Well then, let's not now, build any of those buildings. One of the Burgundians' generals has a very interesting hat. If you look at the guy standing outside their town. Got some uh, impressive headgear going on. <laughs> some sort of like feathered yeah, lump what, look. What is that? Oh, he's got six yule though, that general. Don't don't make fun of him too much. Pretty good. <laughs> he will destroy his you. Oh, his hat, lame word. <laughs> <laughs> Your hat Burgundian sucks. Warhounds. Actually, the Burgundian warhound uh, handlers look like they're also wearing the same hat. Maybe it's some sort of Burgundian tradition. Well, I guess... Oh, okay. This is not something I was expecting. Um, the Huns are apparently right here. Next to Belts. I guess yeah. they just made that a desolate yeah, province. Yes, they desolate it. Those guys showed up, started rebuilding it, and the Huns are just like, oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> yes, rebuild it. <laughs> so I, I definitely need to keep my army here, because I don't want them to come through my lands and break all mine as well. So I'll probably hold off a little bit before I take Nifrawa. Um, God, they, I don't, I have like nothing against cavalry right now. People have been actually telling me that those like horse hewers or something are, are like really, really good against cavalry and I should definitely make some, but I, I will make some later in the game when I'm more likely to come up against the hunts, but right now. Anyway, so yeah, East, that, that province, Gophus, or Transcarpathia is actually really good for fertility, so I do want it, but... I'll, uh, I'll take that, like, that's probably my next goal or something, but I, I'm gonna wait here for sure for the hunts to arrive. Okay, let's do And it. I'll see for now if the Lugians, or is it the Lugians? Yeah, Lugians, would you want peace? Are you brave Moderate. Or foolish mm. or just mad? How about some trade as well? well no? I will listen before I turn you inside out. Will you pay me for that peace? No? Maybe? No, they won't. They probably don't even want it. No, they reject it. I'll pay you for the peace for free. I'll pay you 300. Pretty generous. Yes. Nope, they won't take it. Well, in that case, you're gonna die. 
that is a rubbish decision from them considering their weak position yeah oh that that um that comment from someone on, on one of your videos <laughs> diplomacy isn't your strong suit <laughs> your comment offended me prepare to die <laughs> <laughs> well i followed through so they are actually now dead. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to the family of that comment yeah you should have uh raised a child with more respect for someone's anger issues <laughs> <laughs> now it's winter, meaning it's uh, the best time for the Geats to attack, so my bonus. So maybe oh, I should yes. just sneak over and hit Burgundia right now. Do it. Right, let's see if I can get there. Well, I'm Burgundia. Get very close. My movement range ends just before the town. I can attack the army outside the town, so I can get the battle, the decisive battle going. Oh, and then you might actually be able to attack the town as well, if they run away. Yeah, which they might not actually. Under control. We'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to ignore the Rugian army that's currently encamped right next to me. Yeah, I'm sure they're not up to anything better. They're probably just chilling, just having a great time. They like the sights. I mean, why would they could have encamped on their side of the river to make that a very non-provocative move and improve the defensive position, presuming they're supposed to be defending against the Angles, but no. Highly suspicious all round. So we're going to do what we did before, which is not defend Rugian and hope no one attacks it. And I'm going Ooh, to and if you take that, we'll be borrowing so we can trade. Oh, well, we're, we're boarding right now. Aren't yeah, we? we are boarding, but we can't trade, can we? Can we not? Maybe not roads. Maybe there's no official link between these provinces. I don't know. I'm going to diplomacy, I guess. I, I'll uh, ask you. I'll see if anyone from your side wants to give me something. Hey, Langobards, do you want a trade agreement? I don't know about I get that. gemstones and lead. This is a great agreement for me. Oh, man, I should ask for money. Like so we can trade. I guess I missed that. It's cool. Sweet. So let's see. Probably made the world's smallest amount of money. Can't really tell. I make 149 off of you. I think you we made exactly the same. Yeah. Very fair. Anyway, right. So Dag and the diseased old men are gonna come and stand nearby. Right there. And now I'm going to attack the uh, nicely hatted general outside and just see what happens. They gonna stand and fight. So it's a fight. He's got one unit of cav and their main force. There's a ton of Germanic levy. Looks like scattershot hurlers. Now that sounds exciting. I'm making well, 299 off you, actually, by the way. I just wanted to. Wait, what? That. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm making less off the Burgundians, so you're free to kill them. <laughs> the deals off. Ooh, mate. an actual battle. Oh, this is we've, the hat guy as well. We've got a genuine battle. We're facing the hat guy. Oh, hey, those our... pikemen. We'll finally see them in action. We're I'm looking set forward up to this. A Macedonian royal phalanx formation. And <laughs> destroy the enemy or it will be destroyed by the enemy's massive ranged advantage we'll see <laughs> what happens oh yeah should be good it's gonna be a bit of an experimental battle yeah see I, how the pike will... I want to see how this pikes because you are defending which is kind of annoying and they also the pikes if they're weak against anything it's ranged yeah the enemy had tons of hurlers as far as we can tell do you have any cavalry or reinforcement nah, I, I can't even recruit cavalry oh poor geats they don't know about horses well at least you have uh, two dog units we got a couple of dogs, and we've got quite a lot of the axemen. So if the pike plan fails, we have to try and axe their Germanic levy to death, and then do the thing. With well, them. I mean, yeah, just melee. Just... I've got faith in the whole pike thing, but I'm just worried about the amount of range they've got. I don't know how many hurlers they had, but yeah, I couldn't see their whole army. It looked like they might have had loads. Yeah. Let's see. Nice snowy day, so hopefully my men will be happy about that. Give us that tasty morale bonus. You already loaded in again. Your PC is like god. It's just too quick. I'm already in there. It's because it's almost brand new. I haven't wrecked it yet. <laughs> I'll see it by rendering videos all the time. Yeah. Soon, soon, it shall be wrecked. The wrecking shall commence. Looking forward to it. Right, we're in. Now, where's the reinforcement direction? It's right Ooh. behind me. How convenient. So it's a where nice. Are there, where are there pikes? Flat. Oh, they Pikemen, they forgot fights? their pikes. They didn't uh -oh, bring them. This is awkward. You had one. <laughs> oh, hang on. I've got the. Running to turn on the ability. On. Oh, oh, right. Game set. No. Controls. It's classic camera. There we go. I can actually move the camera. Yeah, they don't appear to have brought pikes. Maybe you need to turn so on the ability or something. Off. Hmm. Turning it off and on doesn't seem to make any difference. They just sort of jerk around a bit. Well, we'll see. Maybe they only pull it out when the enemy comes near for some reason. Yeah. So first, just in case the enemy do counterattack, I'm going to form up near the reinforcement position, and then we'll probably have to go on a quick march through the snow. So pike wall, nice. I'll have a 
regular spear. Oh, there you go. End. They brought their pikes out now. Oh, they got them now. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, that looks good. So how many? Looks like it could be up to three deep. So just need three deep. Yeah, that's fine. And these guys can just hang around. So, what do you want to control in this fine battle? Well, you should probably give me the entire army. You don't want to lose. Well, obviously, that's the optimum strategy. Uh, I guess... Uh, hold on, did you already give me the... No. The maybe the dogs. And oh, maybe yeah. the action units that come in as reinforcements. I'll try and flank around with them. Okay. Let's just see if the enemy are up to anything. Oh, yes, the entire enemy's army is reinforcements. So, actually, they're, they're probably not going to tag us straight away. So, we might have to go walking in. No. Oh god, you got the Nordic Band in the other band. army. Do you want the Nordic Band? Yeah, you do. <laughs> I yeah, really man. don't. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Dag as well. Yeah, you, I'm you expecting a lot from this Nordic Band. All right, All right. Do, you to, do you want me to just take the left side as a flank and then you use... Uh, or sorry, the right side, our right side. And that then sounds you delightful. Left. How about I give you two axe units to... I've got, got, well. got, got two of my own. Yeah, but I mean, I've got like tons, so... <laughs> Fine, you don't want units? I try to give you some units and you're just like, no, don't want them. Fine. I'll just stick to the right. Oh, these Jeez. Nordic Band, please. Jeez. What's wrong with Nordic Band? They are. They're a horrible band. They're like, they're just, they don't, their music doesn't interest me, me at all, actually, to be honest. It's so derivative. <laughs> derivative. I hate every second of it. Alright, is everyone strolling? This is like I understand that they're walking, but this is not even a march. They're just like they're like relaxed, like eh, whatever, mate. Are we supposed to be fighting today? Like it's pretty casual. Yeah, like this is kind of weird. For a nice snow walk, really. <laughs> it's a lovely day out, lovely winter's day, with their geetish anti-freeze blood. They can take it like men. Oh god, the Nordic band forgot their damn drums again. <laughs> ah, they're useless. <laughs> useless band. They can't actually see the. Uh, Theoretical enemy, even though it's completely open. Oh terrain. god, we've moved all the way up there. Hold on. Yeah, I've been stolen. What have you been doing? I was not paying attention, that's what I've been doing. Ah, a classic move. <laughs> the old not paying attention gambit. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at this pike wall. I've got the like, for some reason on the bottom, my bar is like giant. Probably because it makes it like that because yours is giant. Because yeah, you've got so, so it's, many units. it's bigger than it needs to be to hold yeah. all of your units. And so it like, it takes up the half the damn screen. <laughs> to take up the rest exactly, of the screen. Exactly, yeah. And, and so I just turn that off for now. <sighs> this game, so bad. Looks like yeah, the third so good. rank of pikes does actually just stick their pikes through the front rank. I guess they never bothered to sort that out. <laughs> Oh, some of them point. Oh, yeah, the f yeah, the third one do, and the fourth one points them upwards, and the fifth one too, even further upwards. <laughs> oh my God, how far up could they point them? <laughs> yeah, they are sticking them right through the second line. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> right up your arse. You have dead bodies already skewered on the pikes to put the enemy off. <laughs> right, this is the longest. This always happens in our battles. There's yeah. always like this twenty minute period because you have to walk to set everything up. Okay, this is triple speed. Look at the timer. This that's not like triple speed. Let's compare it to my watch life. One, two, three, four, five. Might no. be double. Maybe double, might yeah. Be just over double speed. But it's definitely not triple because <laughs> that it would have to do three seconds for every one that you said and it never never did that. Damn it, CA. Betrayed us again. And thing is, on the uh, the actual uh, icon, it actually has four play symbols, implying it's quadruple speed. No, that one's slow motion. I don't know why the hell would everyone ever want to play in slow motion, <laughs> but. As to the fun. <laughs> Let's make the battles even slower. <laughs> it's too fast. Because once the actual battle starts, it is really fast. Like, the battle's over in two minutes. It's just there's a 20 That's minute true, period yeah. of walking. So if you want to enjoy the actual action part, you've got to use slow motion. <laughs> Indeed. Right, what is the game plan here? Are we gonna... Well, I was gonna go and look for some enemies. You can sort of see their cav there, so it looks like they're just gonna yeah. stand there, so we're gonna have to make an advance. Ideally, they'll attack our pike wall, but we might have to uh, try and convince them. I'm willing to sacrifice these archers against their hurlers, because they're just so useless, so they're gonna be going up front. Yeah, that's good. Oh, what if one of these units have got left behind? Why didn't I notice that before? 
Okay, Probably well they're not going to be climbing the line then. They're going to have to just, they're going to walk up late to the battle. Just, just uh, run them up. Or give them to me, I'll flank around. <laughs> yeah, do something with them. Right. Main force. At least the bit that's mine. I'm going to put you in a big formation group. Just walk forwards, see what you can find. Oh jeez, okay. <laughs> now I'm serious, actually that's probably a bit too far forwards because the others might like be just there. That's good to hear. Right. Now we wait. That was good. Lovely. Nice bit of action there. Gave a bit of an order, ladies and gents. You might have seen that. A bit of strategy. Told my men to uh, <laughs> walk forwards. Don't think the enemy are going to be expecting that strategy. By God, he moved that forwards. That one out of the bag. <laughs> oh, there's another cavalry right there. No, yeah, that's lances. probably between their two lines as yeah, all the rest of the units. Expecting a big lump of Germanic levy and hurlers. Oh, yeah, yep, there, there are, are some hurlers, in fact. The hurlers have arrived. Let's see. So, yes, I'm going to use the archers to draw enemy missile fire because right. my archers historically have never killed any enemies. So there's no Looks point like they've got probably six. Them. Yeah, six. Um, if there's one in the middle there that we can't see yet, six ranged and then three skirmishers. Or six, like, big range, I mean. Mm. Although, I can only see five, and there's one still that we can't see. Yet, so I'm... Yeah, that little gap. Yeah, why didn't they leave a gap? On, there must be a unit there. There must be something in there. Don't lie to me, enemy army. Let's see, got the dogs at the back there. Oh, oh. oh yeah, they've got dogs as well. Oh, and they've got a pike. They they've think they're... Pikes. They think, oh, oh, oh. oh, they're mercenary. Or they're, like, loyal. Mine a real deal. They've got a contract and everything. Pension. <laughs> Yep, oh, there's a Germanic pikes. Yours are Nordic pikes. I wonder if your. I think yours are probably better because yours are tier two. Oh, know nice. what theirs are, but <laughs> they better be better. Let's see. The enemy have twenty attack, forty-four defense. <laughs> I have thirty attack, eleven. Def no, wait. I'm reading the wrong stats. Oh, that's weird. No, yeah, I'm asking for the wrong unit. That's why. Go on. There we go. They have 19 attack, 11 damage, 37 defense. We have 30 attack, 11 damage, 47 defense. So ours are better. So if it comes to a pike battle, which it won't. Hold on, how are you probably. seeing their stats? Oh, there we go. Oh, you sort of click on them yeah. and yeah, open up the thing. Right, my army is at the wrong angle, I've noticed. Let's just slightly sort that out. There we go. They are in pike wall. So we've got our axemen, which obviously are theoretically strong against Humanic Levy, but we have seen before that that uh, supposed relationship isn't actually true, where you send in the axemen against the Levy and the axemen just get wiped out. So I suspect it's just the difficulty level playing with us, but yeah, <laughs> let's try it. That's why I like <laughs> just using uh, axes as a pure flanking force, because that way, like their their melee defense and armor. I mean, ones on these ones are actually not too bad, but the ones that I was using. Their melee defense is like pretty poor, I think, or their armor is pretty poor. One of the two. So like they're really good for killing stuff, but not very good for defending themselves. Yes, I think so. So I'm going to send four squads of axe to the left. You put your axes on the right. So we're going to have some nice axe flanking action. I see. That, that, that makes sense. That's why I wanted to give you two back, but you didn't want them. <laughs> That's because I'm just very ungrateful. <laughs> Apparently. Right. So everyone's now pretty basically set up. So how are we going to roll? Let's get these uh, bowmen and tell them to loosen up. Cause you Do you want me to uh, use the uh, Nordic nice. band as a bit of a oh, sacrifice yeah, I as well? About the band. Yeah, of course. So, yes, if you can loosen those up and uh, <laughs> come to stand out front, that would be perfect. I will indeed. They know how to do it. So, yes, I'm going to cover the advance. I'll try and get the pike wall. I guess I have to take them out of pike wall formation, otherwise they'll move slowly and then try and just really quickly just reassemble it right in front of the enemy. And then we'll wow. advance into their spears. The uh, Nordic band loose formation is not loose at all. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know how to stand far apart. They need no. each other. They're all holding hands. It's just, I keep thinking, like, oh, it can't be on triple speed. But no, it is. Yeah, no. I know. It's, it's slightly misleading because the snow is still kind of falling at a normal looking speed. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like it doesn't seem to affect the weather. The game would probably go crazy if it did that, like, triple speed as well, though. Gotta be careful, by the way, on the flanks, though, with all those cavalry they've got. They could yeah, easily destroy indeed. their axe units. Indeed. I've only got one squad of real spears on each side to help out. In fact, why don't you take the, the spear unit that's on your side? Oh, God. On there. Alright. Do you want me to just, just protect my own men, then? Just, yeah. Try and keep them alive. My guys are fine. I can always twist the pikes about like crazy. 
we'll probably get away with it. Okay, looks like everyone's pretty much in position. All right. Let's head to normal speed. Look at that, look at that loose difference. formation. How is that loose? Oh, don't lie, on normal speed, the snow is now falling slower. So I guess it was sped up. It was just quite slow before. <laughs> yeah, see, it's, it's just not quite triple. It's like two, two and a half, maybe. Yes, that uh, loose formation could be looser. <laughs> yeah. I've seen looser formations in my day. Now, what I want to do is turn off this formation group if I can. Right. So. Right. Want me to move into that range? Basically, we're just going to sprint in. I'm going to sprint the archers in. Yeah, in it's good. Three, two, one. Let's I'll do wait it. until you're a little closer and then I'll sprint them in. Right, now, pikes. You're going to have to run right into the action. You're going to come up here. You're going to come up slightly behind them. All these floor skirmishes. All they throw over the top of the pikes. Uh oh, the enemy's reacting. Pike when you might not have to go so far in. Archer set up right where you are. Oh, they're charging. The cavalry charging the Nordic band. Disaster. Oh, wow. Oh, well. At least I took that hit for you. <laughs> oh, there's not a cav coming. Uh, pikes. Right. Pikes out. The enemy are ambushing did they do it? Us. They did. Well, I don't know. They're in pike mode. I guess they have to be stationary to actually pull them out. Okay. Well, uh, cav unit out. coming. Get out of here, boys. Right, yeah, so maybe they can't use the pikes while they're moving, so let's just set up a stationary line and maybe the enemy will attack it. That would be nice of them. Alright, one of the Nordic band is gone. Right, this is good. This is going well. This pike is going to have to turn round. Right, let's make an attack. Okay, the bands are both gone. We didn't need them. I always hated those bands. <laughs> right, oh, the friendly fire is just so intense. Yeah, skirmishers. It's not like in Rome 2 where you can put a skirmish line behind the main line because it absolutely decimates your front line. Um, yeah, it does. I just don't want to believe that's the case, but it happens every single time. So I, I just don't think they have any... Uh, there's nothing in the AI that stops you doing friendly fire, which I think there may have used to be. They wouldn't throw if they couldn't hit the enemy without hitting you first. Ugh. This is actually disastrous so far. The amount of disaster that's happening right now. War dogs broken through. Pike line did not hold at all. It's just completely gone. Their levees and dogs just ripped it apart. I'm coming in for the flank here. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. They they refuse to... <laughs> Already refusing. How dare they. Alright, General. Oh, crap. No, this... I, w I thought these war dogs would do better, or the actual men would do better against the calf. They did not. <laughs> I may have lost. I may have lost one of the war dog units already. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> Didn't need him. Always hated those war dogs. Right, this is an absolute mess. This pike unit, like this pike unit, wasn't even combat, and it lost a hundred men. I think that was all friendly fire. That was impressive. Well, she defeated some of their hurlers. She used one of the archers to just fire a volley into this camp unit over here. That probably destroyed them. Which one? Uh, the back right behind us. Uh, oh, behind it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just that <laughs> one one of the archers <laughs> there. Okay. Well, I'll send those two to do it. And then that one can stop running back the Greens man. The men are running, cowards! Cowards! There's a general coming it's up cowards. here. Cowards. Yeah, oh, just some exposed axemen. Can't do anything. Oh, what? Uh, I hope that was Dag and not the real one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it doesn't actually tell you. I think it. Oh, I might have even been the real one. This isn't good. Alright, nice. The uh, cab unit's gone. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, they're cava having a field day along with the skirmishers. Because ah, we don't have any cava. <laughs> the skirmishers just annihilating us. The yeah. Enemy is fallen. There, got the yeah. enemy general. Kill their general. It's a bit of a turnaround. Oh, my good. Reconnaissance, use it. Who's this random? Oh, it's a Germanic noble unit. Oh, they have two generals then. Oh, that means this one is still alive. That's 
throw a volley right into the back of this unit then. Our men return to the fight. Okay. Continue returning. Four, four, four. This is disgusting battle. Should be assassinating their second general soon. Yeah, looks good. Come on, take him right down. Oh, this skirmisher unit's so screwed. <laughs> it's oh yeah, it's getting destroyed. Changes. Yeah. Sort of yep, yeah, alright, there. Second general's broken at least. I don't know if he's dead yet. There's the war dogs again. Well done, war dogs. Get in there. Oh no, this honor uh, skirmish unit is getting destroyed as well. Luckily, they cost nothing to get anyway. Yeah, these thrall skirmishes are basically just mannequins with sticks attached to like rocket launchers. <laughs> so it's all fine. Alright, it looks like we've got it mostly done. We might done. actually win now. That's going to be a Pyrrhic victory, <laughs> I suspect. We just gotta chase these skirmishers who uh, might destroy us in the meantime. Stop throwing out your weapons. Oh, they're taking us out. Yeah, lost all our action in here. We've got like four units left. I wanna kill that second general. He might already be dead, but I don't know. Come on. Come on, chaps. This is important now. I know you're all dead, but I need you to really put the effort in. How did the pikemen do? Um, what pikemen? There's just a pile of uh, dead bodies. <laughs> so not <laughs> so too well then. They, they they did uh, way worse than Our I thought they would, to be honest. Hmm. They they got completely wiped out immediately. So I don't think the pike wall is sort of a pike wall per se. I wasn't really controlling them very well either. Though some of the units were still moving when they got engaged, but even the ones that didn't. I think the friendly fire might have also been a big problem. I think it would have been a lot better if the skirmishes had been on the front. Yeah. Or it would have been at the sides, because they wouldn't have done really good at the front either. Yeah, that's the, the main weakness of them, is... is um, uh, the main weakness of, of the, the pikemen is, like, getting attacked by ranged. There's one general man left, and he's getting us killed over here. I'm pretty sure their generals are both dead then. <laughs> okay, that's good. I want someone oh. to bring me the hat of their main general. Right, you little bastards. I'm gonna bring this unit which is somehow behind enemy lines to come and attack the routers. Let's do it in triple speed. Theoretical triple speed at least. I don't think... Actually, a couple of other units might catch them up. There's still some dogs that might actually be on the way as well. Unless they're going the wrong way, I'm not sure. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, you know what it's Get in there. Go on. Take him down. Right, okay. I don't know if we really need to slaughter them. Uh, that might be useful. Be as slaughtered as possible so I can steal their town. Because uh, we've got a bit of regeneration to do, ladies and gents. Luckily, you'll get a ton from this army, of course. Actually, no, is it going to be that weird thing where you only get the replenisher from the initial oh, two yeah, units? Oh, yeah, reinforcements. That would be disappointing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Come on, game. Don't disappoint me. You've already disappointed me in this battle. You can't disappoint me in the aftermath. Right. Looks like they're going to get away. I'm just following random dogs running around. They're having a great time. Oh, well. Any more kills happening? No, screw it. Let's get out of here. We've seen enough slaughter. Fairy yes, victory. Fairy victory. Called it. Oh, my God. So, we lost more than the enemy did. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, look at, look at those pike stats. Some of those units did absolutely naught. No. Incredibly poor performance. Okay, spears it is then. <laughs> so, it was worth yeah, a try. There, there you go, ladies and gents. We, we did a bit of an experiment, and the result was bad. And yes, 1% unit replenishment. Oh my god. Spirit. Both generals dead. And we lost both the generals, so overall, pretty pretty successful attack. Say. Well, they lost most of their stuff. At least it's only Dag was one of them that's effectively no loss. He's not diseased anymore. Right, so now let's get all those disloyal people <laughs> into the ranks. Hey, Galtrek. Oh, he's heartbroken. Minus one zeal. Is that because I stopped you marrying someone? Hmm. Good in a fight, though. That sounds quite useful. Trustworthy. <laughs> it was the, the admirers of Pyrrhus as well. <laughs> it's got Pyrrhic victory. Again. <laughs> they, they pulled it off. <laughs> they thought their Pyrrhus days were over, but no. Uh, okay, Alagut, you're now leader of the diseased old men, even though you're not very old. And who was my leader of the other one? 
Or do I assign someone accidentally? Gizzer. Gizzer yep. I think I just picked him by accident. Uh, well, he looks okay. He's level two for some reason. So let's level him up. Oh, I can give him plus six morale when attacking. So he's a relentless attacker. Let's give him a household piece. <laughs> Loaded dice. Great. Okay, so we uh, can't take the town. No. Unfortunately. Well, I, I I can move over the army next turn. Actually, I'm not even sure if... No, they're in four smarts. They can get, like, halfway. But... Yeah. 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 Let's have a look at this. Too. Okay, what I'm going to do is merge some of these units together so I can get a money bomb because I'm not going to regenerate these pikes because I don't want them anymore. So let me just sort that out. Can I merge these three? Let's merge it down to just two squads of pikemen. And they can be experimental. The three skirmishes, they don't cost anything, so I'll leave them. Yeah, okay, I'll leave them. And the other army, the Axe Warband, are going to be spending all my money. Let's merge them all into one unit. Because now I've got a good income. What I'll do is I'll just throw a few mercenaries in in case something happens during the intern sequence. In fact, I can get some mercenary thrall skirmishers. Why would I not? I love it. And what's that? Oh, there's actually a mercenary onager available. Although I'm going to auto-resolve the attack, so I won't bother. Let's take... Uh, just a random selection of mercenaries into that army. And I'll have a random selection of mercenaries into this army. Yeah. There we go. Right. That went well, didn't it, ladies and gents? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. Ugh. But uh, I think at least we're going to win the war, I think. Depends if Rujion gets involved, which, of course, they won't. End turn. Yeah, Why would they do that to me? That's the thing is, <laughs> now that you that look weak, me. they might be like, hey, that's... They, a... they don't know what it's like. They'll, just... they'll just be like, oh, that's strange, our allies being defeated, and this is a prime opportunity to completely help them. Nah, it's not. <laughs> it's a very important television shows to watch. What are the Ostrogoths up to? Oh, Hans, we might actually see them this turn. Nope, not yet. Yeah, the Ostrogoths sneaking around in your territory there. Yeah, I don't know about that. At least they're killing themselves due to attrition. That's indeed good. Oof. Oof. We're going to have to put a lot of sacrifices at the Shrine to Pyrrhus tonight. <laughs> like, you have served us well this day, Spirit <laughs> of Pyrrhus. We admire you, sir. I mean, I don't even know how we won, because none of our units got any kills. So we somehow defeated the enemy. <laughs> Some unknown method. Well, obviously the reinforcements that I controlled did extremely well. Well, obviously, yeah, it was all the flanking forces. The central force just died, but flanking force pulled it through. Lugins, what are you up to? Oh, they must be doing something, because this is taking longer than oh, you'd think. Oh, their settlement was desolated. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, so maybe they, they broke it themselves. desolated Yeah. They just fixed it for like 10 grand or something. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like, like it. <laughs> you know what? It's the wrong colour. <laughs> Where are you going, Rugens? Oh, what is what's all these people territory? all coming down to like my it. territory? I don't like it. Oh, I don't I like the, it. You know, Lucian just destroyed there in town. It's back again. Oh. oh. Uh, but before that, Wait, bloody, what? Um, Attila showed up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, got seen. Are we going to watch this? No, I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, screw it. I've seen it too many times. The that, yeah, of Bells is a... Uh, it's back, so they just they built oh. the town, burnt it down, and now they're going to start again. They're having a fresh start with bells. My... Obviously, extremely rich, so maybe you should try and get some cash off them for peace. The uh, the border dispute cost me two grand. Doff, what did I... you buy? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Must have been some prime land you bought. Yeah, I wonder. Like, it'd be funny if actually the border like did change and you got a little bit more. You land. can't expect those dilemmas to have an actual effect. <laughs> oh, there's the first Hun, our Hun army, the Tempests. Oh, it's, really? thank you. it's right here. Whoa! What the hell? I did a red arrow, but it's white with. Oh yeah. There it is. Yeah. Cheeky hands. Um. Okay, I should go after those rebels now before they get too big. You can also see the other Hun army, uh, the Wrath of Ulrich, out in the middle of the undiscovered territory for some reason. Cut here. Oh yeah, the Wrath of Ulrich against the Blood Embers belonging to the Venedians. Mm, yeah, up to no good out there by the looks of it. Hey Lugens, now that you are... Oh wow, whoa! What the? Okay, they were minus 24. Now they're going down to minus 106 next oh, turn. Oh, they are not happy about you. 
No, that was a piece. Let me hear your I'll talk. pay you a little more I than last you. time. I have no stomach for the meat. Was your board just speak with them? Now they're angry that you just bought their land off them. <laughs> I don't know. It says Molred. I'm. I offered them 800. They still wouldn't take it. Right, rebels, you're gonna have to go. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh shit. I'm not sure if I can even reach them twice. No, I definitely won't be able to if they run away. Maybe I'll just sit in Kasujis. No. Well, time becomes happier. Well, yeah, but... there's, yeah, there's some advantage to letting them build up their awful rebel army. If I take. Yeah, if I wait one more turn. I do have this damn Ostrogoth right next to Lepudnum. I'm not quite sure about. Why I can would move they my ever army. do anything backstabby? They're just, move... they're just visiting. <laughs> I can move my army from Badurges over to Lepudnum. Because the happiness is going up by 20 a turn anyway. Oh, yeah. So I think I'll do that. Try that. Okay, you're going into Kasujis. Actually, if I attack them once, then go back into Kasujis, it means they don't. Re re uh, actually, yeah, it means they don't recruit. But I think it also means the town doesn't become happier anymore. Yeah, the recruiting is what gives you the bonus. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you keep recruiting those rebels. They all spawn with like two experience. It's not great. And they got a general Lando. Lando. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky Landos. Delicious. All right, let's put all of you people as companions again because I forgot to do that last time. Um, and I don't have any money because I just spent two k on a border dispute with someone. Was it worth it? I don't know. I, I think the other option would probably have been worse. So every other probably. option was better. Actually. <laughs> Either ignore it. I don't know why. I, I've never done the ignore option on any of them, but I, I really don't think that's ever going to work out well. <laughs> yeah, it always seems that you shouldn't. Now, oh, one of my generals just died. Ragn Hilder. Oh died my of god. Age. Who was that? Three generals just died in the time Ooh, span everyone's of. Everyone's dropping like flies. Right, let's just check this family tree. Everyone's dead. Who's the new king and stuff? So the new king is Gizur. He is High King, 39. He's got a fantastic set of hair and beard, so I appreciate that at least. Does, he, does he have some kids at least already? He's got one kid, which is Hydrek, who's pretty Drek. He's 6 out of 10 loyalty. Let's make him a companion. There we go. So yes, most of my uh, generals are actually not in my family, but my dominion is still 84% Whoa. somehow. Is it just maybe Gizur himself? I don't know, actually. Oh, it's Ring. Ring has tons of influence. The governor of Gothiskernza. <laughs> Interesting. So what we need to do is finish off the Burgundians. Looks like they've recruited some units, but will that be enough? Let's begin a siege. Oh, it's still a balanced engagement. Mm. Okay, I'm not. I'm not willing to fight a balanced engagement because we'll lose everything. Any more rebels? You could, or rebels? Any more um, things you can hire? Yeah, let's just kind of check. I've got three slots, so I might just blow all my money on some more units. I can buy two units of Germanic Warband. That's a decent unit, and I'm gonna buy. This mercenary step mounted bows. That sounds exciting. I'll add to the variety. Yeah. And in the diseased old men, what can they get? Not much, just cavalry onagers. <laughs> so expensive. Guess I just get tons of these thrall skirmishers. And some mounted brigands. Why not? That gets me on 32 money with minus 500 remaining. So let's get them all killed. I'm going to combine some of my units together first, although it's just going to wipe everyone out if I were to resolve this, I expect. The Thrall units. Yeah, the Thralls. Yeah. You need to team up. This dog unit will probably go, so I might as well team them up now. Nordic Spearmen. They might get away with it. Well, I can probably re-recruit them. Let's check that. So there we go. Now the balance bar super far in my favor. Good. I don't know about this. I probably protective stance because I'm basically all skirmishers. Yeah. Let's go with that. Let's see how that goes. Lost 600 men, they lost 1,600. Only one complete unit lost, it was Nordic Axe Warband, which is a shame. None of those mercenary thrall skirmishes I recruited died. That's a shame, because I was hoping it'd be the opposite. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, probably because they're in the second army. I think yeah. it tends to do that. There well, we go. Ended up alright. You took us, Skalasis, Askarkalas. Cheeky burgers, you're all off the team. Everyone, all these mercenaries. Oh my god, minus nine sanitation there. Minus nine? You disease motherfuckers. <laughs> what are you doing here? Is it. Oh, is this salt works gives me plus three squalor, and then I have a curing shack plus six squalor. Holy hell. Where's this? It gives me bonus agricultural income in regions with poor fertility, but otherwise just gives me 15 food, which is almost nothing. Why is that so awful? What I'm going to do there, because I'm going to pull that down. Salt works, that seems like a legit thing. 
so we'll keep that squalor. I think back in Rujon it has two farms. Yes, it does. So I'll destroy one of them to build the well. Let's destroy the one that's just fields. A lot of destroying to do. Now let's just get rid of any other mercenary. Throw these mercenary axe war band. Are you going to rename your team. diseased old man army to healthy young boys? I think I have to now, because now <laughs> they've got Alagoot. Let's see who Alagoot is. He's, he's 37, so he's not, not exactly he's young. He's not, no. Middle-aged. It's just sort of solid. Let's bring it up. So let's just call it... Middle-aged champs. <laughs> <laughs> They're all quite respectable gentlemen. Perhaps not as young as they could be, but still fighting for a good cause. So now let's have a little look at Rujion. So my next natural target is Rujion because it's part of this province with Rujion and a Skullclis in it. Yeah. But, uh, I think we might need to prepare a little bit before we go and do that because everyone's dead. I can recruit... Uh, oh, I can recruit nothing of interest in this province. That's good. All right. A lot of bit of nothing. So I'm going to have to build... Either go back or build a military building to get some, something decent here. We'll see. I've got... The Ostrogoths, they start at War of the Huns, don't they? Yes, they do. Okay, that could work in my favor if the Huns do come over. If they, they're, if these Ostrogoths are going to stay in my territory all this time. Ooh, there's a somewhat... Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Well, there's this, uh, a Saxon stack sitting just west of my territory in the water. Oh, yes. Sure what, what's doing there. Looks like they've, they're damaged. Yeah, it looks like it. Just up to no good. See if I've opened up any trade opportunities. Oh, I can trade with the Saxons. Well, who are you at war with? Viridians, my old foe. You want to trade? Success. My old foe! Hi. Ha 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 ha. Oh, and the Saxons have an army sitting in Angolus. Highly suspicious. They've accepted my money. Uh, because they're at war with uh, the Viridians, who are also there in Angolus. Oh, right, yeah. So they're probably hunting them. So now I've just got 900 cash off that, so I might be able to make something less destroyed. I'm going to repair the village that I just took. My HUD has been gone the entire time of your turn. It's been, like, I can't see anything. You can't see anything? No. no. Well, you're missing out on some great action. <laughs> yeah. Oops, no, don't dismantle. That's not the repair button. I'll repair this salt works. Actually, it does improve the squad of repairing the salt works, apparently. What does it? No, let's not even check. Go. So now I just need Rujion to be very kind to me, not realize that I conquered their ally and that they could easily conquer all of my territory if they wanted to. Now, oh, where are you going, Ostrogoths? No, they're raiding again. Damn it, Ostrogoths. They're raiding. How about you go raid the Rujion's lands? Huns, what are you up to, Huns? Yeah, we know at least two or three of their armies around here. I think least. it went back. The, the army that was near you went back to the right again. Mm -hmm. So I guess they're just having a little look. So I can't really move out and take the Quadians territory until that's all like done. Well, you can always trust the AI. Oh, of course. Nice bit of trust works every time. Can always be a trust of the oh, AI. Illusions. Their settlement was destroyed again. What the hell? Yeah, I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a mini map right now. It's not showing oh, yeah, anything. Missing out. <laughs> mm. Yep, it's, it's on fire. So, I guess they're either very rich and very indecisive or there's some sort of on-off war going on over there <laughs> oh yeah they're back they rebuilt it again what the hell how do they get the money for that every they time they have infinite money slash infinite AI cheating <laughs> something is going on there I want my HUD back I can't see anything you don't deserve a HUD rebel army is on the move oh oh it's, it's a battle Oh my god, what the hell's wrong with you? This is a poor choice in the rebel army. Oh, horrendously poor. They actually have an energy army. Let's go, uh... Well, we're defending. Let's go aggressive anyway. I don't know how that works, but... Let's do it. Take him out. And you're gone. Yep. <laughs> that looked painful. That was easy. Yeah. Thanks for making my town happy. I'll take your replenishment. Didn't lose anyone as expected, of course. Nice. And my heart's back. Faction destroyed Burgundians. <laughs> yes. Noise, mate. Burgundians. Faction. Oh, wait. Enemy kill in battle. A worthy bride for Otbert. Who the hell's Otbert? <laughs> so she many of these damn kids. is a terrible. So it will intervene. 
political obstruction, we will do a... You can do political favors and office secured. Thank you for just securing an office as well without going all weird about it. Right, trade agreement dissolved with the Burgundians. How weird. Oh, right, they died. My Rugians bad. and the Huns are at war. That's good for us. Gives the Rugians something to deal with. Germania, food shortage. Why? Because of the raiding, I guess. Oh, yeah, it could be. That is pretty sweet. Um, well, rating I mean, minus could you just 11. Wall, that Ostrogoth army? Because if it's just that, and it's not at full Well, that's the thing. They always have two armies, don't they? Because I can definitely kill him, no yeah, worries. Yeah, but... two. So I don't know where that second one is. And if I don't have to go to war with them, I'd, I'd rather not yet. But anyway, I think we should end the episode there anyway. Okay, we'll leave it there. We'll Indeed. leave so many questions unanswered. Oh, all the questions. None of them will be answered next time either. <laughs> They're not going to be answered, <laughs> except the question of perhaps will officially never be wiped out by the Rugions, <laughs> just like he always does. I don't know. The Them going to war with the, um, with the Huns is a good, very good thing. It's a good sign. Yeah, it might distract them, and I can just sneakily take their capital, and maybe they won't notice. Indeed. But maybe we'll find out next time. Maybe we won't. So until then, goodbye. See you next time.